Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit. Today we'll talk about um, HRSD 7 sessions. Uh, last few days we are talking a lot of things in the HRSD. So I would suggest if you have not watched my previous video, go and watch my previous video. Today we'll basically talk about the assignment rules. And then last day I talk about that how that it is assigned to a particular user or um, from the skill. We'll uh, deep dive the skills, how we can set the skill sets and then how the assignment rule works. So very first thing is that we'll talk about the HR assignment rule and then matching rule one by one and then we'll talk about that HR skill sets. After talk of the manage HR skills, so once we complete the manage HR skill, we'll talk about the further called escalation HR case, how we can escalate a um, case from one stage to another stage. Let's say your case in right now in um, HR uh, tr1 you can escalate to the tr2 and you can escalate for the tr3 so how this escalation will be works and then how the system will automatically change the assignment room and escalate them so let's see one by one so without wasting time let's get started So very first thing is the let's flip to the service now. So this is my service now module. And then here, here if you type the HR administration, uh, so under the HR administration, uh, if I scroll down, um, here you will have uh, see that um, assignment rule. In this assignment rule, you have a first call HR assignment rule. So if I open the HR assignment rules, so uh, you can see this is the uh, assignment rules tables opens and this is definitely in the code table in the service now platform table where we have defined for HR code case. What it is saying that let's understand one by one HR total reward case. It means that any HR total reward case is created under this table will be assigned to the HR tier one. So if I open here and we'll understand in deep drive there. So here in this assignment rule, we can define that to whom we should be assigned. So what it is saying that in HR total reward case, uh, it will be applied if the assignment group is empty. So whenever the HR total uh, reward case will be created and that assignment group will be empty, this assignment rule will be, will be worked and then each two will be assigned directly to the HR tier one directly. So we've seen in our past cases that whenever we are creating that uh, HR case, it was going to the HR tier one. So this is the way it is assigning to the HR tier one. So if you go back to the script, even you can customize the script or even you can uh, customize the rules. But I'm showing you that how in out of box, how the assignment is uh, logic is working right now. So whenever the HR, whenever any uh, HR case will be created, it is all right now going to the HR tier one. Now, if I type here HR case, um, so if I type here, all the HR case are created last few days will be show here. So if I um, do a Z2A here and open this uh, HR case, so you can see by default it is assigned to the HR tier 1 and this is the payroll uh, related issues and then it is assigned to that HR T1 because if I go here and then see the payroll related it is assigned to the HR tier 1 so that's why it is directly assigned to HR tier 1 if we change these groups and uh, put some other group it will be definitely go to that uh, group so let's change that groups to HR tier 2 and create a payroll related uh, case and see uh, it is going to the HR uh, tier 2 or not. So let's go back to here and then uh, we'll type that we'll type that create new case here and we are going to here we'll select that some user so I'm going to select that Abel tutor here and then uh, COE here we'll select the payroll related uh, so let's say the payroll uh, related I'll select that and then um, and once we select the payroll related it's asking some information last time I show you that we can put the additional and then we will click the create new case it will create a case and we'll see that it is assigned to the HR tier 2 so this way it can be assigned to that uh, this assignment rule will works you can change any assignment rule wherever you need by default okay so going back to the HR administrator here 
our next topic is all about that HR matching rule. We'll talk that um, further. So HR matching rule, if you see here in the HR matching rule, there are many matching rules related to the HR code case table and this matching rule will work whenever your case will be um, in ready state and then it will be assigned the particular user. So matching rule used to assign per particular user. So let's say uh, the HR total rewards. If I open the HR total rewards, one of these matching rule and see, understand that what is it is saying. So if you see the matching rule, the matching rule itself is saying that HR or HR total reward case uh, agents by skills and their country. So whenever your assignment group is not empty, but assigned to is empty, it means that whenever the state will be changed to the ready and then the assigned to will be empty, that it will be um, by the resource, whatever the, uh, the table is the HR total reward kits and then based on the resource, it will be assigned. So let's see that. Um, so in the resource, what it is saying, it will call to the HR assignment API that's out of box API and it will be assigned by country and skills order the least loaded. So based on the skills, payroll skills are inside this group member, least loaded member will get that who have the least load, he will assign to the particular ticket. So that way the HR payroll, I mean this matching rule will be worked. So if you guys have any question, let me know. The next topic we'll talk about that HR skill management. So under the manage rules, you will be able to see the um, uh, uh, few modules. The first module is the manage HR role. It have the all the, it's basically pointing to the same table, CC user group table. And um, it have all the HR related group. You can see that HR tier one, tier two, all the HR related groups. And then, uh, you know, uh, you have the option called manage HR skills. So this will come to, this will open a uh, UI page where you can see all user. So total you have a 12 user and if I open the employee center. Uh, so these are all are actually the, you know, skill. Okay, so employee center is a one skill. This employee relationship is one skill. Employee transport is a one skill. Uh, exit interview, these are the skills, okay. And then if you see here, each skill have a uh, member. So under this employee center, four member have a employee center skills. And this member have employee center skill along with the six more skills. And these are the skill is available. So this way you can manage their skill. You can add them to a particular skill and then you can assign to any particular skill. You can under this employee center, let's say these under these uh, hiring, if you want to assign somebody, you can just simply click add and assign or remove and you can assign somebody into this skill. So this way you can add someone, add someone's skills, uh, you can remove someone's skill, something like that. You can just simply click here and then save that it will be removed the skill and this way this user will get a new skill which is the hiring skill. Even you can introduce the new skill like uh, by hitting the new button, you can, I know, create a new skill and then, uh, you know, you can create the skill. So that has to be in global scope, then you can create the new skill, you can see the skill and skill type and label, everything you can define and create the uh, skill. So this way you can manage your skills and then you can, uh, you know, um, go back or do further analysis, okay. The next topic I want to talk about the escalation rule. What is the escalation rule and how it works? So let's take an example of this um, This case we uh, created. And then once this case is created, the HR, um, the full filler, they can escalate that uh, to this case uh, in case they don't have proper uh, you know, um, skill or uh, in case that is, uh, you don't have the proper information. So once you click the ready to work, it will assign to some user here and then after that you can see uh, it have the right now HR2 uh, user. Now we have a button called escalation case or escalate the case. Once you click the escalate case, the HR2 you can see right now we are in the HR2 um, position, right? So whenever the uh, payroll will be created, it will be assigned to the HR2 and then next where you, you should go. So if I escalate that and put some that escalate something like that and click OK, it will be escalate and go back to the further. I mean, it will go to the higher authority. And then you can see it's I'm going to the HR tier 3. So how it is assigning that? 
because of that we have a options called escalation rule and in this escalation rule it is designed that from where we should escalate that so if your current role is the current group is the HR tier 1 if you escalate that it will go to the HR 2 if you are escalated from HR 2 it will go to the HR 3 and further you don't have escalation option so if you see here we escalated the higher level and we don't have any option for escalation if it was HR1, the escalation button was there, but right now it is not escalation button is not available because this as per escalation uh, uh, table, this is HR3 is the higher level of escalation. So that's it for today. We talk about today mostly the escalation rule. We talk about the HR skills. We talk about the matching rule. We talk about that assignment rule. These are the topic I just want to cover today. Thank you very much. Have a great day.